We are your home for Hawaii's music. We are Kappa at 100.3, 99.1, and online at kapparadio.com. Uh, very happy to have this brother join us this morning. We call, a, call him one of our Cali Hawaiians who live in California currently, but also still li living and breathing Hawaiian music. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the Kappa Cafe this morning, Mr. Steven Espanola. How are you, my friend? Aloha. Hey, how's it, Jess? Aloha. Good, man. Good to see you, my man. How has uh, life been treating you during this uh, pandemic, my man? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, like, like everybody else, it's just been, you know, learning how to live in this new world, right? So right. just, just uh, learning how to be safe and learning, accepting that it's, it's probably going to be here for a long, long time and just learn how to deal with it. Just be smart, be safe. Yeah, yeah, Roger that, man. Well, let's let's go, let's go back to the beginning a little bit. Um, how how um, I guess explain your love for Hawaiian music. When did it start? Uh, especially living in California, how it is that? How is it that it, it continues to 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 drive you through these years? Be, you know, living so far away. That's a great question. <laughs> um, so uh, I'll give you the uh, sort of like the uh, the Cliff Notes version. The mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I grew, I grew up on uh, Oahu in uh, Aliomanu, and I moved to the Bay Area when I was in my teens um, to be with my mom. And um, I went through, you know, all the rites of passage and, and um, uh, learning, learning different types of music. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until um, uh, I started to, to really miss the music that I heard growing up, you know, the Hui Ohana and, and um, uh, Gabby and all of that. It, it, there was just a point in my life where I was just really longing for it, really wanting to reconnect. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time I was playing for a, um, I had a Bay Area band, we were called Kilohana and um, we, we'd play for various halau. And our, our singer um, left the band, I was playing bass at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, we all kind of looked around the room and asked, you know, hey, who wants to step up and sing? And I was like, I guess I can try. <laughs> I would, you know, I didn't, I didn't really, um, caught myself as a singer at the time, but um, but the music that I remember hearing as a, as a child um, was really kind of ingrained in in you know who I was, and so and did falsetto immediate? Did you when you oh, first sang was yeah. it immediately falsetto immediately? Bro, I went in like full 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 on <laughs> full on. Hey, if I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the hardest thing. Right, right. <laughs> and so in the beginning, I was just you know kind of emulating. Um, Uncle Dennis Pavao, uh, Gary Haleamau, and uh, Darren Benitez, like those kinds of singers who I remember hearing, you know, and I would just emulate, right? Um, Uncle Saichi was, was somebody who I, I sort of um, recalled as a falsetto singer here in the Bay Area, as, as somebody that I could, um, um, you know, at least be in the same ballpark and, and try to emulate, right? So, in the, in, the, in the beginning, bro, it was like rough. It was, <laughs> it was, it was rough, and you know, like, I, I would just try to emulate the sound and it took me a little while. Uh, I would say a good couple of years before I really got the confidence um, to, to take, you know, to really charge them and, and um, um, take on Leo Ki Eki A full force. Falsetto is one of those things. And um, it, it's one of those singing styles that you got to have a, lot, a whole lot of confidence to, right. to, to pull it off. <laughs> you know, grow, 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 growing up or spending a majority of your life in the Bay area, you know, Bay Area is known for funk and, and, oh, yeah. and known for R&B. And there's a yeah. definite difference between that falsetto singing and Leo Kie Kie. Oh, most and, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And did you find yourself like, oh, do I do it like Phil ba Philip Bailey? Or do I do it? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's funny because I teach that in, um, I do workshops, you know, like a light workshop on, on, on falsetto and, and the, sort of the origins of Hawaiian falsetto. And I, I bring that up that there is a definite difference between the style of falsetto between like like you mentioned Philip Bailey or um, um, you know Smokey Robinson and that kind of falsetto right Prince right yeah. versus the um, the type of falsetto that originated in Hawaii which emphasizes that hai or that break in the voice right yeah, yeah. Um, so I went full on with the style that I remember hearing and absorbing when I was in it, and that was like the full on hai. Full on man, go in there. I wasn't trying to 
ease my way into it with trying to do well, not that that's easy but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but trying to sing like earth wind and fire is actually another whole another you know trip, yeah yeah another <laughs> task but um but yeah I, I went with the style that i felt comfortable with and that um i felt you know i i think as a hawaiian too it's something that i don't know it just comes from a different place i want to say my, my you're not all or, or some some other place where it just sort of give you gives you guidance to to be able to take it on and, and do it with confidence. Now, in in the Bay Area, uh, there's a handful of uh, uh, some of them are my relatives, as a matter of fact, like Art Sap. Oh, Art uh, Sap, yeah, yeah, that's right. There, there's a a handful of Hawaii musicians that live there. Do you guys all kind of back up all the same halal? You, you know, what I mean? <laughs> there's, there's yeah, yeah. kind of like a you know what I mean, like a, a bunch of you there, yeah. There is, yeah. There's uh, Faith Patrick Lendenza. Patrick Lendenza, yeah. My cousin Kumu Kavika Alfichi. Right, right. Um, of course, you know, like Marho Omalu. You know, there, there's um, Patrick uh, Makokane, uh, yeah, Kumuhula, yeah, yeah. right? And and so, th- I mean, there's a there's a, a really big scene here in the Bay Area, and there always has been. Um, and um, I think the the Bay Area Hello is is sort of a great foundation to sort of keep us all rooted and keep us right, all accountable. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so you find, you find, especially like um, uh, brother JD, brother art to um, you find us all, especially like around Ia Oye Kala time. Um, uh, there's a, there's a couple of Mayday festivals, the Aloha festival. You see us all sort of, well, when we're able to, to go out and yeah, congregate, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> but huge. we would all I've, sort of, some of yeah. those events are huge. Oh, they rival. I mean, I think any event that's going on in Hawaii right now. I went to uh, you know, uh, an event in Gardenia maybe 20 years ago, and oh, I've right. never seen so many Hawaiians in one place, like outside of Hawaii. Was, was, oh, yeah. Was that the uh, Heritage of Aloha Festival? Yeah, I think. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, that's the, I think that's the one that um, Puni, uh, who is actually uh, someone that, who I co-write with, um, Puni Patrick from oh, Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Familiar yeah you know Puni? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Yeah. Yeah, she, I think she has a hand in uh, putting on that festival, the Heritage oh, of Allah. But yeah, the first time I went to that festival, I was like, where am I? I was like, where is this? <laughs> <laughs> because there's more Hawaiians in one place than you would ever see. Right, right. I heard like the Kalamina area, man, it's crazy. Even more than oh, yeah. Vegas and whatnot. As a matter of fact, like when I would do my, um, uh, every year we would go to the NAM festival mm-hmm. in, um, in uh, down in Southern California and the gig that I would set up while I was down there would always be in Gordina, California. Um, and it was, you know, I would always, the first time I, I set it up, I was like, oh, nobody's going to show up at this thing. Like, and I was like, I was surprised. Sure, yeah. It was packed house. Yeah, it was choked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah what's up? Uh, <laughs> you know, in, in, uh, well, on a good thing, I guess, during this time of COVID, you have been able to record. Uh, yeah. Has that, has that somewhat made it easier since you're kind of confined to home? It's like, well, ma'am, I'm home. I might as well record kind of trip. Yeah. Yeah, you would think you would have a little bit more time because that's all you have is time right now. <laughs> but uh, the way that I record, I've been recording with um, Dave Tusharon. You, you probably know Dave. Oh, of course. Uh, over so on, have you uh, been oh, flying? Oh, have you been flying ho- flying over? Or no, you, well, flying tracks. When I when I started, um, I would come over for like one week uh, stints, and uh, I mean, I started like probably three years ago, four years ago on this project, and. Um, uh, Dave actually, he has a lot of business here in the Bay Area too. So he would, when he would come here in the uh, Bay Area, um, we would, you know, set up in a studio. Like my friend Chris Kanoho has a studio um, uh, nearby, so we would set up with with his studio and, oh, okay. and lay down tracks. Sometimes I would just do tracks on my own and then send them send them to Dave. Like I think this last time we, we did something like that. But um, yeah, it's been it's been a um, kind of a tough road, but um, definitely. A little bit, uh, you have a little bit more options as far as like like being in this pandemic time, like what you can do creatively, what you can do, and what you can get away get away with. Roger. Not not yeah. this, this yeah. new project, slightly different from the the other stuff that we played from you. Number one, I know it's yeah. a it's a a beautiful remembrance of of your son as well. But tell us the the story of or the manao behind Sakura. Oh, mahalo nui. Um, so this was uh, yeah, yeah, yes, our son um, Phoenix Kahonu, he uh, passed. Um, uh several years ago a few years ago and um and our friend puni uh on Kauai, she had gifted us my wife and i uh, this beautiful poem um which compared him uh to the fleeting beauty of a sakura flower which wow. would, would come at just a you know like a just a, just a brief moment right. um and then you know you would admire its beauty and then and then it would be gone for, until the next year 
Mm. So um, I was just, my wife and I were both really moved by this poem and she presented it to us in Kauai. Mm. And I would say like almost immediately, I started to um, get ideas for presenting this poem in, in uh, more of a song format so that I, we could share it with other people. Mm. And um, in, particularly, in particular, other people who have gone through uh, similar types of loss or loss um, of, of their own. Um, um, by the way, um, um, uh, in our pule for your for your for your uh, for your loss. Um, oh, your thank, you, loss. thank you, brother. Thank you. Um, and so I started to, uh, almost immediately. I started to um, uh, get inspired to, uh, and this this melody just sort of came from um, wherever melodies come from right, right. and I just I just started to um, hash out the song and sort of rearrange the poem into more of a traditional Hawaiian uh, or song context um, with a hui section um, and then um, yeah and we just we uh, I had a rough version that I that I laid down and I emailed it to uh, to Puni and she she loved it and um, from there on we sort of just made minor tweaks here and there and then we started to uh, Dave and I started to um, record it Wow, oh, awesome, beautiful. Yeah. It's great, to, it's great to, for uh, those that live away to have a, a kumu uh, or mm. a hakumele, you know, in Hawaii to make that connection. Awesome. Because it always, oh, keep, yeah, for always sure. keeps you authentic yeah. too, you know? Yeah, and I, you know, I have sort of that here uh, in the Bay Area, my cousin Kumu uh, Kavika Ofichi. Always good to have somebody to uh, keep you grounded, but most importantly, to keep you in check <laughs> and, and, you know, let you know when, you know, things aren't, you know, pono or, um, you know, yeah, when, yeah, when you yeah. shouldn't be doing this thing or that thing. And uh, yeah, it's always good especially to have, if, have especially that Especially if somebody's going to dance it. <laughs> especially, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, how, can, how, can, um, how can everybody get this project, bro? So this is a... Um, uh, this is a single and the first single from the the, the longer project that I, I'm eventually going to release, probably later this year. Okay. Um, but this single in particular will be available in all formats, iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Spotify, TikTok, um, you know, <laughs> everywhere you can absorb music. Wait, are you doing and, TikTok? Are you doing? No. <laughs> TikTok is where I have, a, I have a teenage daughter and I tried to learn TikTok and I, I just feel like such an old person when I, when, yeah, <laughs> when I, I do I, it. You know? I tried it, bro. My daughter was like, ah, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I, I finally met my match as far as uh, like technology and, and, and that type of media. Like TikTok is, is where I draw the line. Snapchat, all, the, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah I'm like, ah, I, I don't understand. <laughs> there you go, man. Do you think that uh, you'll be coming to uh, Hawaii anytime in, in this year? I, you know, I, I, I want to, if, if anything, to, to, um, to sort of buckle down and really um, finish up the project and, and, you know, get it ready for release, the, the rest of the album. Um, I, I mean, I really, I, I really want to come back and, and reconnect with my family and, and friends there. But I mean, it's just always, every time we've tried to do that, it's just, it's always been, you know, just crazy spikes here and there. And just, I, I don't want to be the one to contribute to that. Yeah. Um, you know, it, not, um, so I, we always just try to play it smart, play it by ear and just see when the right climate is to to um, come home and reconnect with family. Roger that. Well, thank God for social media. We could still connect. Yeah, you know, <laughs> for yeah. sure. It's great well, to see you, man. Yeah, I haven't yeah, heard YouTube, and seen you in a long time. YouTube, just on Facebook. Man. YouTube, man. <laughs> well, everybody go pick it up. Like 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 Stephen said, it's available pretty much everywhere. And uh, we've got it here on Kappa. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Steven Espanola with Sakura. Mahalo, brother. Mahalo, Nui. Ahoy, ho.